In this video, I am going to show you how to find quartiles in Google Sheets by using the quartile function. So if you need to calculate quartiles for your data set, there is a built-in function called the quartile function that will do this. It is actually very easy to use. So let's just take a look at the syntax over here. So it's the quartile function and there's only two arguments of the function. The first argument is data, and this is the array or range containing the data that will be used to find the quartile. And then the second argument is the quartile number, which tells the formula which quartile to return. So there's five options that you could put in this uh, argument, and it's zero through four. So if you put a zero, it's going to return the minimum value of the data set, which is the data that is at the 0% mark. If you put a 1, it's going to find uh, the data that is nearest to the first quartile, so at the 25% mark. If you put a 2 in the function, it will return the data that is nearest to the median, or the data at the 50% mark. If you put a 3 in the function, it is going to return the data nearest to the third quartile, which is at the 75% mark. And then if you put a four in the function, it's going to return the maximum value in the data. So at the 100% mark. So just to show you how to use it, I have this example data set here, and I'm going to put a formula here to do each of the quartile options. So equals quartile, and I'm gonna put in my data range and then the first one we will do a zero and then I'll just copy this formula all the way down and just change this second argument here two three and four so let me just double check these so I have zero one two three four yep so this is now returning um, the corresponding piece of data from this data set for each of these quartiles. So again, this is the 0% mark. This is the 25% mark. This is the 50% mark. This is the 75% mark. This is going to be the maximum or the 100% mark. And you can see in a matter of seconds with the quartile function, I can return each of these um, quartiles for this data set. So hopefully you can see now why the quartile function is useful because it's very easy to do. Um, just let me know in the comments as always if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.